Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Andy Nguyen, and I told you before that I don't typically do switch reviews, I lied. Today we're showcasing the matcha latte switches by InvoKeys, they are a new switch by Athlion, and you're gonna wanna hear about this one. You can use this stock, dude! I'm very grateful to InvoKeys for sponsoring this showcase. My opinion is always my own, they never get to see the video before it goes live, so let's get into it. This is a PC top, nylon bottom, long pull, palm stem switch, and honestly, you would think that it's just another JWK recolor with a long pull stem. I know there's a lot of them, like a lot, but the switch is a different manufacturer, so the plastic breakdown maybe a little bit different and the vendor promises that these switches can be used fully stuck meaning you don't have to lube the springs you don't have to lube the stems and there's no wobble in the top housing so you don't really need to film them either oh my god that's crazy why does it matter there's a lot of times where not having lube switches has deterred me from building a keyboard looping switches sucks nobody likes it i'm kidding there's some people that think it's therapeutic i think those people are weird i'm just kidding you're still for the majority of us, I think that I can speak for y'all. Especially if it takes three hours for a set of 90 switches or more, is not our first choice on how to spend a day. Maybe I'm crazy. If you're someone that loves lubing, let me know in the comment section below and uh, I should probably clarify it. Hey YouTube, YouTube, this is uh, lubing keyboard switches. Don't demonetize me. InvoKeys is a new vendor, Athlion is a new manufacturer, and I got a chance to test these switches. What's crazy is InvoKeys actually sent me over an Iron 180 to build with their stock switches. That's bravery. The Iron 180 is a very expensive keyboard. Imagine ordering an expensive $585 TKL. Honestly, it had the brass bob, so it's more money than that. And then putting stock switches in it. That's wild. But they trusted their product, and honestly, it sounded pretty good. Before I even built it, I tested it in my ear. This is how I test switches. I grab one, right? Here is the matcha latte. It's green and white. I find my ear hole. Ear hole, good. Ear hole, and I stick it in there. As deep as I can go. If you're bleeding, you've gone too far. And then I press it. When I press it slowly, I'll let you listen to the microphone while I'm doing this. When I press it slowly, I'm actually listening for friction and scratching. When I press it hard, I'm listening for leaf pink, spring pink. And honestly, it passes. It's not It's not the best. There's still benefit in lubing your switches, right? We ain't crazy here, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary. These switches are pretty solid. When I put it into the Iron 180, honestly, the Iron 180 is a little bit hollow. Don't tell anyone, especially with the brass plate. I'll let you listen to the sound test as well as the Ginkgo so you can get a different experience. Maybe the Iron 180 case is gonna sound a certain way. Maybe the Ginkgo is gonna provide an alternative so you can get a good spectrum of how the switch may sound. Let's listen to it. Not bad, eh? The switches are pretty smooth. There's no weird pinging. It doesn't sound plasticky. It doesn't sound like brittle, which is what I typically experience when I throw in like a stock alpaca. Although the alpaca is smooth, it just doesn't feel full in sound. What about the feel of the board, huh? How do you feel, Andy? Well, well, I don't like long pole switches. There's reduced travel. When I'm typing, I expect to push a little bit further before it bottoms out. A long pole stem, it stops a little bit abruptly for me. Personal preference, of course. Some people don't care, some people prefer it. The sound is really good with a long pole switch. I can't deny that. There's a stock switch check. In terms of feeling any scratchiness, I don't really feel anything here. The effect of the factory lube is very similar to purely stem lubing, and I'm leaning more towards that these days. I like the sound of lubing only the stem. I feel like it's not getting in the way of the switch as much if I'm only lubing the stem, so it's a solid banger. Now let's talk about the price. And for this switch, it's a little bit more expensive. I think the baseline for switches is like JWKs at 55 cents, and a little bit more is gonna be an expensive switch, a little bit cheaper is an affordable switch, and this is more, this is 65 sense but it's in stock so there's that it has the long pole stem typically the long pole stem switches are a little bit more expensive here's the kicker inno keys is actually QCing every single switch that goes with their doors before it gets to you a human being has looked at it what does that mean well if you have bought lavenders from canon keys before or gatoran inc v2s you may have experienced that some switches are scratchier than others you just lose some switches every time you buy and with these vendors scaling up and dealing with more volume they can't QC every single switch they can't package every single switch so what they're doing is selling switches 
pouches and bags of 70, 90, and 110. Why are these numbers so specific? Well, it's because it's in that bag from the factory. And if there's issues with some switches, there's some issues with some switches. What It saves them time because they don't have to count and possibly miscount. InvoKeys is taking their eye holes and their ear holes and examining every switch before it gets to you. That's some value right there. If I were you and considering the switch, I would buy earlier because who knows if they can keep doing this forever. I don't think a vendor can do that forever. Honestly, it takes a lot of time. So 65 cents, it's a new manufacturer, but at least the top housing is tight. There's no spring ping. The factory loop is pretty consistent and solid. So I think it's worth the consideration. We gotta talk about JWICs again because JWICs are the kind of gold standard for an affordable switch these days. But with JWICs, I found that you still need to open them up. The spring is pingy and you can fix that by lubing the spring. But lubing the spring by itself doesn't really save much in terms of the time spent looping switches because the time spent is usually on opening and closing the switch. If you gotta open it, that's a lot of time. The matcha latte switches give you an option of not opening the switch at all. Close your eyes with me. Imagine a world where you can buy a hotspot board and you can get like TX stabilizers that don't need lube, switches that don't need lube, don't need film, you don't need a solder, it's a hot swap. You put it together, buy some keycaps. Just like that, you have a keyboard. You don't have to hire someone to commission a build. Did I just ruin my job security? Joking aside, that's a world that may be coming. A world where we don't have to spend three hours to lube switches for every single board for the people that want to get in and just try an experience board for the first time. Of course, if you have your preferences, you like your specific springs, you like the sound of films, then yeah, you're still gonna lube and film, all right? That's a personal choice. But I'm excited for a world World where that's not a requirement. So what are my final thoughts on this switch? I think it's solid. The sound is good. The feel is good. The price is right, especially since they're QCing the switches right now. And it makes me excited because I can take these switches and throw it into any board. Consider the matcha latte switches. You don't have to buy them. If you already have your preferences, such as myself, I like my Gatter and Ink. If that's you, then don't, don't buy more switches. If you buy more switches, you're gonna need more keyboards. If you buy more keyboards, you're gonna need more keycaps. And then you're now a hoarder and you're in debt. Don't, 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 don't. If you want a clacky switch today, and you don't want to lube another set of switches that you buy, consider the matcha latte. All the information will be in the links in the description box below. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.